Hey, 828 Find Adventure here. People have been asking about the bed slide I made out of 8020. So I'm gonna make a little video here of the bed slide. And uh, you can tell me what you think. It was pretty easy to put together. I did have to buy a specific saw blade for my miter saw. But other than that, it, um, it went together pretty easy. I used graphing paper uh, to kind of draw out some plans and then I changed it and then you change it again and then you figure it out. Then I ordered some 80-20 and of course some of that doesn't always go together the way you, you think because 80-20 is very specific. Um, but anyways, have a look at it and uh, you can tell me what you think. This is just a poncho liner that I used to cover up stuff in the back of the truck. As you can see, it slides out really easy. At the end, I've got it attached with a couple of strachets from Front Runner, and I'll have a link in the description for those. Um, here's, the, here's the bed slide taken out of the truck. The heaviest thing about it is the mat, the rubber mat that's on it. Um, otherwise, it's really light. I use quarter inch plywood after I put the structure together. Here you can see I used just caster wheels. I had to drill some holes in them to make them fit onto the 8020, but they work great. As you can see, I used a couple of 8020 pieces that were cut at 45 degree angle. They're about six inches long. Um, you can order them just like that, and I did. I think I got them off eBay or maybe Amazon. Um, I will be providing some links in the description for a lot of this stuff. I got these eye nuts to uh, connect straps to or to tie down things with bungee cords or rope on Amazon. Um, they hold a lot of weight and they're just really easy. They just thread on to a bolt. And so I have it connected right in through to the 8020. Here are some sketches I did. I started out just scribbling on a pad and then I moved over to a draw to a regular drawing pad and then some graphing paper just so I could kind of figure out what my design was gonna be. Of course it changed as I went along, but I just wanted to show y'all how my idea started. I watched a bunch of videos on YouTube about cutting aluminum and cutting 8020 and what kind of saw blades they used. Um, I went with one that had lots of teeth. Um, I would recommend watching some of those videos before you go out and purchase a blade. I really had no prior education on these saw blades. Um, so I would do your research first. Since I was new to this, it took some, uh, some research to find out what hardware I needed. And I did need to, you know, order specific hardware for the series of 8020 I was using. So be sure and do that. You can also get drop-in T-nuts, and I use those to uh, put the casters onto the 8020. It was just easier, and you just drop them into the slot and turn them. Found the rubber mat at a surplus place, and it was one of those mats where you walk into a store to wipe your feet on, and it was real industrial and very heavy, and I kind of regret it. I'll probably go with some sort of coin patterned rubber mat like they use in these uh, camper vans uh, the next time I make one. As you can see, it fits great between the wheel tubs. Um, it slides in and out really easy. Um, to keep it from sliding too far out and tipping over, um, I connect some stratchets which are basically just like a, a cam strap, but it's elastic on one end with some carabiners. And I hook that at each corner to the end, which you'll see in these pictures. And um, it keeps it from, you know, sliding out too far and tipping over and dumping all the stuff on my feet. So here's a quick demonstration again. Well, I hope you like my short video on the bed slide, and uh, and I hope you try out a few projects with the 8020. It's um, it's fun to work with if you have a saw. Um, basically, all you need is some Allen wrenches, 
screwdrivers, whatever, just basic tools to put it together, um, kind of like an adult erector set. So it's kind of, it's pretty neat to, to use and I will use it for more projects in the future. Um, so anyways, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button if you can. And um, I'll put some links in the description to some 8020 stuff that I used um, and a couple other companies where you can source it yourself. Um, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you later.